hello friends welcome to esc gate psu short e lecture today in this video we are going to uh, discuss water pollution causes of the water pollution and the harmful effects of the water pollution on the living organism so friends what is water pollution water pollution is uh, nothing but just a contamination or the accumulation of the foreign unwanted impurities into the water which leads to the degradation of the quality of water and make it unfit for the use by the living organism friends jo water ki quality mein degradation ho raha hai wo teen uh, teen is uh, teen way mein hota hai pehla hai physical second uh, chemical and third is biological first is uh, the degradation in the physical uh, property of the water uh, the property like uh, uh color temperature of the water get altered like uh, there is a rise in temperature there is a dullness in the color of the water so uh, all these are the sign of uh, accumulation of some unwanted impurity into the water bodies rise in temperature of the water uh, makes uh, uh, an unsuitable condition for the species and uh, due to which some of the species may lost their life Uh, the source for the physical destruction of the quality are the natural source and the anthropogenic source or the man-made source natural source uh, uh, are the volcanic eruptions and uh, like uh, the volcanic lava uh, lava flows uh, onto the water body thereby increasing the temperature of the water and uh, the second is the landslide or the flood the anthropogenic activities involve the run of sewage and the industrial chemicals industrial waste all that and the second is uh, the degradation of uh, the chemical property of the water uh, this is because uh, of uh, the uh, accumulation of the inorganic waste that are uh, nitrates phosphates heavy metals and uh, some of the salts that are dissolved uh, that are soluble in the water uh, changes the chemical characteristics and when this chemically accumulated uh, water gets consumed by the living organism they suffer from uh, the various diseases and the third is the biological degradation of the water it uh, refer to the uh, um, water borne diseases such as the influenza uh, typhoid uh, which are caused by the bacteria fungi and uh, the other worms so friends uh, let's move on to the bi biological oxygen demand and the chemical oxygen demand so uh, what is biological oxygen demand friends kisi bhi uh, organic matter ka jab decomposition hota hai to uske liye oxygen ki requirement hoti hai aur ye jo decomposition hai ye micro organism dwara kiya jata hai so uh, bod refers to the amount of the oxygen required by the micro organism to decompose the organic matter in the sewage under the aerobic condition is called the biological oxygen demand friends bod ka use uh, pollution level ko check karne ke liye bhi kiya jata hai because bod kya hai ki oxygen ki requirement hai agar jitna zyada oxygen requirement hoga utna uh, matlab ki utna amount of pollution jo hai hamare water mein hai means higher the bod then higher will be the pollution level in water and if you talk talk about the chemical oxygen demand then uh, cod is nothing but uh, uh, just a measure of the capacity of the water to consume the oxygen during the decomposition of the organic matter or uh, the oxidation of the inorganic chemical so friends uh, uh, let's talk about the dissolved oxygen so dissolved oxygen is uh, nothing but just the amount of oxygen that is available in the water higher the concentration of the dissolved oxygen signifies that the quality of the water is good and as the dissolved oxygen content lowers in the water uh, means uh, the pollution level in the water is increases as the level of the dissolved oxygen decreases dissolved oxygen content gets uh, lower when the water get contaminated by the organic waste since this oxygen got consumed during the breakdown of the waste by the microorganism during the aerobic reaction so here are some of the impact of uh, the water pollution uh, that is first is the decrease in the dissolved oxygen content second is the increase in the biological oxygen demand and increase in the chemical oxygen demand the third is 
the eutrophication friends eutrophication refers to the enrichment of uh, uh, the nutrients in the water bodies which leads to the unwanted uh, which leads to the unwanted growth of uh, the plants fourth is the biomagnification and fifth is the threat to the life of a species belonging to the aquatic ecosystem so friends baat karte hain eutrophication ki फ्रेंड्स अगर किसी भी एक पर्टिकुलर वाटर बॉडी में अगर हम कंटिन्यूसली केमिकल वेस्ट को डंप करते जाएंगे करते जाएंगे तो कुछ समय बाद उस वाटर बॉडी में जो हार्मफुल केमिकल्स है कुछ न्यूट्रिएंट्स है उनका जो लेवल है वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा बढ़ जाएगा जिसके कारण जो फाइटो होते हैं या एक्वेटिक वीड्स होते हैं उनकी जो ग्रोथ रेट है वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा इनक्रीज हो जाएगी इसी फिनोमेना को हम कहते हैं यूट्रोफिकेशन दैट इज़ Uh, the eutrophication is the process of enrichment of the water with some chemicals nutrients coming from the various source of the waste which trigger the excessive growth of the phytoplankton and the aquatic weeds this is called the eutrophication process actually the eutrophication process can be uh, can happen by the by the natural process or some cultural or the accelerated process the natural one is called the natural eutrophication and the second is called the accelerated eutrophication which is caused by the anthropogenic activities and friends it is important to note that the natural eutrophication the rate of uh, uh, growth in the natural eutrophication is very slow whereas in the accelerated eutrophication the rate of the growth of the plants are very high so uh, eutrophication is uh, followed by the algal bloom uh, which is the rapid growth of the phytoplankton in the water bodies and some of uh, the algae produces the neurotoxins which is a poisonous uh, chemical and uh, when this uh, neurotoxins get accumulated into the water uh, it uh, leads to the uh, killing of the fishes and the other living organism in the water body friends baat karte hain biomagnification process ki तो बायो मैग्नीफिकेशन प्रोसेस जो है ये इनिशिएट होता है बायो एक्यूमुलेशन प्रोसेस से फ्रेंड्स बायो एक्यूमुलेशन मतलब होता है कि हम नाम से ही इसे जान सकते हैं कि एक्यूमुलेशन मींस द मिक्सिंग और द एमलगमेशन ऑफ सम हार्मफुल केमिकल इनटू द टिश्यू ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म दिस इज़ कॉल्ड द बायो एक्यूमुलेशन प्रोसेस बट वैन दिस केमिकल इन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इन द टिश्यू ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म enters into the food chain so the effect of this chemical can be seen in a, over a larger scale when it enter into the food chain means the effect of this chemical get mag- magnifies when it enter into the food chain so this process is called the magnification means the biomagnification is the process through which certain pollutant are accumulated in the tissues of a species in a higher concentration along the food chain is called the biomagnification and the bioaccumulation is the first step of the biomagnification means the accumulation of the chemical in the tissue is the bioaccumulation process and when this chemical enter into the food chain and magnifies its negative effect this process is called the biomagnification सो फ्रेंड्स इस पिक्चर में हम देख सकते हैं कि एक ये वाटर बॉडी है जहाँ पर वेरियस सोर्स से पॉल्यूटेंट जो है वो डंप किया जा रहा है जैसे कि ये एक इंडस्ट्री है यहाँ से पॉल्यूटेंट जो है डंप किया जा रहा है ये एक एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड है जहाँ से नाइट्रोजीनस वेस्ट या तो फिर फॉस्फोरस वेस्ट जो है वो इस वाटर बॉडी में डंप किया जा रहा है इससे इस डंपिंग के कारण जो है ये वाटर बॉडी Uh, में जो न्यूट्रिएंट लेवल है वो एक लिमिट से ज़्यादा बढ़ जा रहा है जिसके कारण एल्कल ब्लूम प्रोसेस हो रहा है मीन्स देर इज़ एक्सेसिव ग्रोथ ऑफ द एलगी ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वाटर बॉडी एंड दैज सम ऑफ दैज एलगी प्रोड्यूसेज द न्यूरोटॉक्सिन केमिकल्स विच आर पॉइजनस इन नेचर एंड आर कॉजिंग हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स टू द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वाटर बॉडीज so here is a list of some of the harmful chemicals along with their sources and the harmful effect so the first is mercury the source of the mercury pollutant are the paper paints and the plastic industries and uh, uh, the exposure to the mercury causes the many matter diseases second is lead 
लेड आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द पेंट इंडस्ट्रीज एंड द ऑटोमोबाइल एग्जॉस्ट एंड एक्सपोजर टू द लेड कैन कॉज अनेमिया एंड द किडनी डिसऑर्डर थर्ड इज कैडमियम कैडमियम आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रो प्लेटिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एक्सपोजर टू द कैडमियम कैन कॉज इताई इताई डिसीज स्केलेटन डिफॉर्मिटी एंड द किडनी डिसऑर्डर फोर्थ इज निकल निकल आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द कम्बेशन ऑफ द फ्यूल एंड द इंसिनरेशन एंड द हार्मफुल इफेक्ट ऑफ द निकल इज इट कैन कॉज सम स्किन डिसीजेज एंड सम लंग डिसऑर्डर फिफ्थ इज क्रोमियम क्रोमियम आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द सीमेंट एंड द एसपेस्टोस इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एक्सपोजर टू द क्रोमियम कैन कॉज कार्सिनोजेनिक डिसीजेज एंड द लास्ट इज द आर्सेनिक आर्सेनिक आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द पेस्टिसाइड्स इंडस्ट्रीज हर्बिसाइड इंडस्ट्रीज एंड सम ऑफ द माइनिंग वेस्ट एंड एक्सपोजर टू द आर्सेनिक कैन कॉज द आर्सेनिकोसिस डिसीज सो फ्रेंड्स मूविंग ऑन टू द बायो रिमिडिएशन सो बायो रिमिडिएशन प्रोसेस इज द ब्रेकिंग डाउन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ द ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑफ द पॉल्यूटेंट और अ पर्टिकुलर वाटर बॉडीज और पर्टिकुलर एकोसिस्टम with the help of the micro organism bio remediation process can uh, occur by its own and it is called the intrinsic bio remediation process and if it is done artificially then it will be called as the bio stimulation processes some of uh, the micro organism that are being used uh, for the bio remediation processes are first the pseudomonas putida it is used to clear uh oil pollution means uh, if uh, uh, there is a oil spill uh, in any particular ocean then uh, pseudomonas putida uh, microorganism can be used to for the breakdown of that particular oil so the second one is the photophorum and uh, the photobacterium there's uh, both are used to cure the toxicity in uh, the water or we can say that uh, these are used to decrease the concentration of the toxic chemicals that are accumulated into the water so friends uh, uh, baat karte hain coral bleaching ki to actual mein jo corals hote hain these are the uh, skeletons made up of the calcium carbonate and uh, over which the zooxanthellae algae resides or we can say that uh, the algae that is the zooxanthellae uh, resides over the skeleton of the calcium carbonate and these are called the corals and when the temperature of the water increases this corals get stressed and they expel there is a symbiotic algae that is the zooxanthellae living in their tissue and causing them to turn completely white this is this process is called the coral bleaching uh, friends uh, the process of coral bleaching can be easily explained with the help of this uh, diagram in the figure uh, in the figure 1 we can see that the coral have uh, the yellow color which signifies that uh, there is a adequate amount of uh, zooxanthellae algae residing on the skeleton and these uh, these the corals are can be considered as the healthy corals and in the second figure uh, we can see that the color of the coral are slightly lighter than the previous healthy corals means the coral in the second figure are under some stressed condition and uh, uh, this signifies that the coral is start to expel uh, there's uh, zooxanthellae algae and in the figure 3 we can see that the corals are turn completely white which means that uh, they have uh, completely expelled all the zooxanthellae algae and turns completely white so friends i hope uh, coral bleaching is clear to you and that's all about the water pollution and friends if you like this video then please do subscribe our youtube channel and you can also like our facebook page